Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about triangle law of forces. Here we will understand definition with the help of diagram, then how to use sign to find out forces and resultant. So students, let's begin. Students, suppose this is a particle O. On this particle, force P is applied and force Q is applied in same direction as you can see here in this direction, okay? It is applied, that is in this case, uh, we can call it as in right direction, okay, in this way, okay? Suppose now I am drawing straight line as you can see the force P makes, so here suppose this is a force P acting in this direction okay p both have the same direction so here now we have uh, we have drawn this straight line p force and this line we'll draw as it is as here from the this point that is second point this is starting point of force p from this point suppose we have given we will give it a name as a and here this is a beam this is starting point this is the end point of force p okay from force p from this end point that is b point we will draw another line parallel to this force that is q force okay here it is i am drawing it this force this is a q force okay Q force and I am this is starting point of Q that is B and this is end point of force Q that is here C we will consider now we will join the these two points we will okay like this now it has become a triangle A B C okay so here C these two forces P Q are in same direction or you can call it as in the same order okay this is the order in this direction now if we go we if we want to follow this order then we will go this in this direction now this direction now then to reach the A we will go in this direction that is the arrow will be in this direction okay like this okay if we go like this in this direction then this direction then this direction then we call it these forces or these forces are in order okay and when we when we reverse the direction of this side okay first uh, understand that um, these two forces are in order and closing side of this triangle or we can call it these two forces is called the resultant okay the resultant will be always in opposite order okay so here the order of this resultant will be in this direction okay so understood so here see we have drawn the this p force and then this q force parallel to this okay taken in same order because they are in the same direction and in the same order so here this is the order and if we go in this order again then it will not form a resultant so here this is the order and we need to reverse the order to get the resultant so resultant will be in this direction okay so understood this direction this di so sorry this direction then this direction then this direction okay like this and like this this is not correct okay so correct is this one opposite order this is our resultant okay now we will read the definition hey, see here the triangle law of forces states that if two forces acting simultaneously on a particle like this as we have seen here be represented in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle taken in order okay as we can see here we have taken these forces in order p and then q okay then their resultant may be represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in opposite order okay 
so here we have this is the third side of this triangle and we have taken it in opposite direction so it is called resultant now suppose we this angle b we consider alpha this angle we consider as beta and this angle we consider as gamma okay now see here this is force p okay force p here upon the opposite angle of this force is gamma so here sin gamma okay is equal to now we will take this force q force so q upon opposite angle of this q force is alpha so here sin alpha is equal to now we will take this our resultant so here resultant r upon opposite angle is beta so here sin beta so here this is the relation for the triangle of forces and by using this relation we can calculate forces or resultant okay sorry here this is angle this is sin beta okay this is opposite angle of resultant is beta so here r upon sin beta okay so students in this video we have understood about triangle law of forces thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you